Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is going to be a, another round. In the left-hand corner, we have Masquerade, Gleaton, Kaloons. He's back. Hey, your ships are just blue. I could have sworn they were better painted last time. All right, over here on the right-hand side. Oh, hey, Kawa bringing in a couple ships he's brought before. I like the paint job on these. I don't think I've commented on that yet like the paint job on that. It's got some nice fading to it. Hey, Marvin. Bringing in a different ship this time. I really like the paint job on that. I got berated in the comments for uh, a paint job being stolen from <laughs> an in-game ship. Um, I haven't seen the in-game ships in quite a while, so sorry, guys. But yeah, if you're stealing paint jobs from in-game ships, Come on, guys. Have a little creativity. Just a bit. All right, Kawa is already in combat. Skipping straight past all the small fish, going straight for Gleaton. I guess he really just didn't like Gleaton. He's going directly at him. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. I actually really like that. If I had to wager, I'd say Masquerade probably didn't design it but uh you know who am i to talk in the meantime yeah we'll come back to over there i want to watch this the oh yeah it's two mil per player by the way oh yeah, he's starting to take out a bunch of the laser damage here. Check out what's going on over this way. Not too much yet. Not too much just yet. Ooh. Yeah, Masquerade taking a bunch of damage to Kawa. Kawa does not want him here. He is taking a bunch of damage on his right side, though. He's lost pretty much all of his armor there. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, the ship is starting to fail. There we go. Masquerade pretty much down for the count. Let's go find some bigger, badder action. I don't know what's going on over here, but it looks pretty wild. Ooh, just in time to watch Kaloons get blown up from the rear. Looks like he was getting through Kunda pretty well, though. Just before that. Bunch of missiles coming off of Kaloons' ship, though. Straight into Kunda here. Deals a fair amount of damage. Man, bunch of lag. Ooh, Kawa launching off. Wait, Kawa? No, Kaloons launching off a bunch of missiles, trying to drill through Marvin. Marvin, this armor here is not threaded, my guy. <laughs> it's absolutely not threaded. Let's see what's going on up here. Yeah, I guess it's just Kawa dealing with some smaller ships. Of course, some smaller ships dealing with Kawa. Hard to say. Bunch of missiles, though, getting sent straight into Kunda here. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. The ship that Kaloons has is very fast. I think he's going to use that to his advantage. To try and take ships out from a distance. Is anybody going to try to cut him off? Yeah, Kawa's now on the move. Kunda is trying to do something, but he's getting uh, slowly picked apart. Uh-oh. Yeah, these missiles are starting to get through to some sensitive areas. Ooh. 
Getting close. Looks like Kaloon's ship is about to get cut off by Kawa, though. Kawa having a massive amount of thrust compared to his teammates. Yeah, he's dealing armor damage at this point. He's around back. It looks like he's taken out a few missile bays already, and he's going to start taking them all out. Ooh, big hits. Takes out, it looks like, two reactors in one fell swoop, taking the win for Team 2. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Cosmeteer. We are going to be running some domination matches today. In the left-hand corner, we've got Kunda, Silla Cyborg, and Marvin. In the right-hand corner, we've got Masquerade, Get Shrek, and that guy, 455. Get Shrek is the only guy who's brought anything in so far. It's got an interesting railgun apparatus. Oh, that guy bringing in a nuke launcher. Oh boy, it's all spiky. I like it. I'm going to give it an A for design and paint. So the cyborg's got some smaller ships. He's ready to go. Yeah, it looks like he's already taking points. Oh, just kidding. He's decided that he's going to go get into combat. Oh, yeah. It's one time speed because I figured some people are going to lag at some point. Still a cyborg. Loses pretty much his whole ship immediately. It is still pilotable, but it is fairly rough. Oh, let's see what Masquerade brought in. All right. It's a deck cannon spinner. I like it. Nice, nice, nice. It looks like Pink Team is going to go ahead and start taking the center. So the cyborg over here is doing that. Shrek is going to try to stop him. It looks like that guy is also taking a point down here in the bottom right. Ooh, Shrek does manage to stop him and starts taking the point for his own team. In the meantime, yeah, so the cyborg. Coming up here trying to take out that guy. He's got a lot of deck cannons. He did take a fair amount of damage. But he still has all of his deck cannons for the moment. Ooh, that was a nice sidewinder like nuke there. Oof. Yeah, he's getting some pretty awesome nuke shots off. I honestly think the nuke ship is going to win this uh, battle here. I don't know, it's hard to say. He does keep landing nukes on armor, which isn't super ideal. Ooh, he threads the needle on one of those and gets it straight in. The ship is now on fire. I don't see any fire extinguishers. Oh, yep, there's one. Just kidding. Ooh, another nuke threaded straight into there, into the center. I think that ship is pretty much toast. Yeah, for the most part, it appears to be toast. Masquerade is going to go ahead and claim the center with his little spin type thing there. Looks like Shrek is a uh, spawn killing. <laughs> He's camping the spawn, ladies and gentlemen. Having flashbacks to Halo. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like Shrek. Yeah, he's lost a good portion of his rails. He still has a couple, though. Let's see what other fun things are going on around the map. Nothing crazy just yet. Yeah, it appears pink team is a little bit behind. Yellow team is managing to take them down. Uh, yeah, that guy still got his uh, atomic rose ship here. Oh, there's another nuke launcher coming at him, though. The battle of the nukes at this point. He also goes by so the cyborg who's still able to deal damage, at least for now. He's also coming in with another ship to try and deal damage as well. Oh, man. I think Kunda's ship has come out on top here. Yes, the Atomic Rose is down at this point. That guy is going to go ahead and try to deal some damage as well, but he's using a missile launcher ship, and it's versus a cannon ship, so unless it can back up faster, I don't think it's going to have a good time. Oh yeah, no. 
to the cyborg, doing a bit of a sidewinder around, trying to deal some damage where there's less armor. Ooh, he does lose some cannons. Not super ideal, but that guy is bringing some reinforcements. I do like the paint jobs on these. They look really nice. Ooh, yeah. Uh-oh. So the cyborg bringing in his ship that's still running around. Crazy. And his missile ship lives to see another day. Let's go ahead and get an overview of the map. It looks like... Oh, I missed some action up here. Oh, I haven't missed it yet. They're about to get into combat, though. There we go. So the cyborg loses another ship. Pink team... I've seen Kunda's ships, and I've seen Silla Cyborg's ships. I haven't seen any of Marvin's ships yet. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Does this thing have ammo? It is completely out of ammo. That is a bad day. Oh, Masquerade is here to deal some damage. It's got a lot of cannons. Woof. Yep, he tears them apart. Meanwhile, Scylla Cyborg is in combat with that guy again. Um, that guy has a bunch of armor. Oh, he's on fire. Uh-oh. He's got some uh, fire extinguishers, though. He might be okay. He's trying to retreat from this battle, it appears. Oh, Marvin is back in the game, ladies and gentlemen. He's bringing a fast wall. Trying to take out Shrek from the rear, but now he's in combat with Masquerade. And his shields are going down fast. Oh, yeah, he gets exploded. Quite down for the count. <laughs> I think Pink Team needs to get a handle on this situation pretty quick. Yellow Team is gaining a lead. Pink team is not going to be able to catch up from... Yeah, look at the amount of ships coming in. It's actually kind of nuts. All right. There's a smaller Scylla Cyborg ship here. Coming in. Yeah, it looks like it's about to get torn apart by Masquerade's fast wall here. Pink team actually managing to claim a point down here. I like the uh, the paint design on that. It's got nice contrasting colors. What the heck? He just left behind part of his ship. <laughs> I actually really like that. He's leaving behind this nuke launcher to claim this point as well as, you know guard it that's really cool actually yeah there's also a small piece of a ship here i think that's funny pink team kind of making a comeback at this point so the cyborg coming in to try and deal some damage to masquerade masquerade has noticed though and he's turning around to deal with these smaller ships yeah and he takes them out no problem Meanwhile, there's a really fast small ship here. <laughs> it's getting up nice and close to that guy. Oh, and he manages to take out one of that guy's ships using one of his own ships. That's kind of funny. Uh oh, we've got a bit of lag. That's not super ideal. Ooh, Marvin has disconnected. All right, I'm going to even up the teams by kicking that guy. Sorry, dude. It is what it is. Here we go. Masquerade and Kunda over here. Duking it out. Ooh, he loses his command deck and it's gone. So the cyborg bringing in a nuclear bomber. I'm excited to see where this one's going. Oh, it's not going very far. It looks like it just got sniped by Shrek here. We saw him coming from a mile away. 
Pink team making a move for Masquerade here in the center. Attacking him from the side where there's no cannons or shielding. Masquerade, though, was ready for it. Now he's turned the full firepower of his ship towards them. Shrek also bringing in reinforcements. Kunda showing up for the fight is bringing some nukes, but they get blocked by his friends. I don't think friendly fire is on, but I, uh, I could be wrong. Pretty sure it's off. There we go. He's getting a bunch of nuclear damage in. That's a pretty good... It's a pretty good damage proposition by Kunda here. Yeah, he's managed to pretty much neuter Masquerade's ship. Oh, I missed what's going on down here, but it looks like Masquerade's spinner is getting taken out by one of Kunda's smaller ships. Yeah, he's just slowly loading nuke after nuke. Ooh. And getting hit after hit. Yep, taking out that ship. Meanwhile, Masquerade has brought in another cannon wall. And he's taking out Kunda's ships. There's about a minute 45. It's looking pretty good for Team Yellow here. Team Pink is going to have to really, really start taking some points. They are taking a point down here. I think the sectional ships leaving behind nuclear guards is actually a really good tactic. Ooh, a nuke goes off in the center there, leaving this ship completely unpilotable and abandoned. Kunda still in the race. Yellow is actually losing the center. Ooh. Trek bringing in an ion cannon ship. Trying to take out some of the cyborgs, smaller ones. Purple manages to claim a point. I don't actually know who's ahead here. Let me do some quick math. It looks like, yeah, yellow team is still ahead. There's a minute left. Yeah, Shrek has a pretty big fighter. It is taking damage from behind, though. Ooh, yep, and it gets cored out. The smaller fighter's managing to take it down. Masquerade bringing in some Enterprise type looking ship. Star Trek, oop de doo da. Ooh, it takes a few nukes though. Yeah, and that's a good chunk of damage. Oh no, I think Kunda needs to leave his ship in this circle. Yeah, he, he does do that. There we go, 39 seconds left. Ooh. Shrek over here, trying to shoot Kunda. Hits the wrong ship instead. Kunda, I think, needs to rotate to avoid those rails. Or change targets pretty quickly. He's firing at a ship that's not even active anymore. He brings in another one, though. Ooh, gets some good nukes off on Shrek here. Nice, nice. 11 seconds. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, one of these points is actually, yep, getting taken by Scylla Cyborg. This might even up the match a little bit. The center point has also been taken. Team one takes the win, Kunda and Scylla Cyborg. I actually did not expect that. What a comeback.